Wiggle, snap, story time. Welcome to story time with me, Miss Booksy. Hi there, it's time for story time at Cool School. I'm Miss Booksy. Today we're reading Beauty and the Beast. Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Yes, Belle and the Beast were having some hot cocoa, super cozy and safe. But deep in the woods, the hunters were on the prowl. They were acting big and tough and saying what they were gonna do to the beast when they found him. I'm gonna tie him up and I'm gonna sell him to the zoo. I'm gonna feed him to my pet alligator. You have a pet alligator? No, but that'd be cool, right? Yeah. Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good. Oh yes, they were big and brave, weren't they? Wait, I'll hear something. <laughs> Yes, very brave indeed. The next morning, Belle decided she would do something nice for the beast to say thanks for saving her from the hunters. Good morning! Huh? Breakfast in bed. I made pancakes. Oh, I like the little smiley face. You should smile more. We'll have to work on that. <laughs> that was so funny. And Belle did. She made it her top priority to make the Beast's castle a cheerful place. To the left. Little more. No, back to the right. Perfect. <laughs> he brought home a pet kitten, which wasn't so great at first. <coughs> but they got used to each other. I think I'll name him Scruffles. And she made the beast laugh with her hilarious impressions of Gustav. Huh? Gustav! Gotcha! It was me the whole time! I just pulled this string! Oops. My bad. <laughs> that was hilarious. Belle and Sam's favorite thing to do together was just sit by the fire and read. It was so peaceful and cozy. But it was also during these quiet moments that Belle thought about her dad and how much she missed him. <sighs> you all right? What? Oh, yeah. Good. But things weren't so good back at Belle's house. Please, go to Belle and tell her to come home. I must see her. I'm, I'm not, not going. I'm not going. Jinx. jinx. Double, Double jinx. jinx. Let's flip for it. Heads. It's tails. Sorry. Ugh. Wow, that is so mean. Belle. I can't thank you enough. For what? The scruffles? Yeah, he's pretty cute. <laughs> no, I mean, thank you for everything. You just make everything nice. Well, you're welcome, and thank you. I thought I was gonna hate it here, no offense. <laughs> I, I just, well, you know, but I really do like it. I mean it. But do you mind if I ask you something? What? What happened here? I mean, you live out here all alone, you have invisible butlers and maids, and you're, um, different. I'm cursed, Belle. Okay, you're being dramatic. It's true, I'm cursed. I'll always be cursed. Really? Like, a real curse? But that's fairy tale stuff, come on, just tell me what really happened. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about it. Good night. Okay. What do you think, Scruffles? Think we can break the spell? <coughs> A curse? Oh no. What would you do if this happened to you? Let's keep reading. Chapter six, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The next day, Belle's brother set out for the beast castle. He was so not used to nature. I think I mentioned this before, but he was kind of spoiled. I hate this, I'm hungry. Oh, a hunting lodge? I bet they have snacks. Hey, you guys have any steak tartare? Just kidding, I'll take a giant turkey leg. Belle's brother was also quite nosy, so he immediately began eavesdropping. He listened to a conversation between some hunters. Yep, those hunters. I'm telling you, the beast was this tall. I know, Harry, you already told me the story. And we're gonna find him one of these days. Yeah, yeah, sure. But Belle's brother didn't think too much of it. Ugh, boring macho hunters. Check, please. He got back to his journey through the dark, scary woods. He still didn't like it. Ew, 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 I don't like this. 
It's cold, it's wet, it's dark, and it's naturey. That's it. I'm turning around and I'm going home. That's so not cool. No trespassing ever. Beware of beast. Oh, this must be it. What? This place is huge. I didn't know the beast was rich. Cool. Can I help you? Ah! Beast! Bell! Help! Help! Hey! What are you doing here? This is my brother. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. So sorry for growling. Whew, that was a close one. Bell, Dad's sick. He wants you to come home. No! You can't! I have to. It's my dad. I know. I'm sorry. Is he very ill? I guess. Oh, poor dad! Well, you can't go now. It's way too late. You're right. We'll go in the morning. Bill's brother was actually pretty excited to stay a night at the Beast's castle. You know, now that he knew he was rich, he made himself right at home. Ah, uh, I miss being rich. Bill, ask that invisible dude to get me some shrimp. We don't have any shrimp. Whatever. A guy could get used to this. That is so not cool. Bell and the Beast, however, were not so carefree. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. Honest? Yes. Okay, you'll miss each other, blah, 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 boring. The next morning, the Beast was even sadder. Bell could tell because he didn't even touch his breakfast and he usually ate like a dozen eggs. <laughs> Finally, it was time to go. Um, like, do you have a carriage or something for us? Or do we have to walk all the way back? You can use mine. Nice. It's beautiful, thank you. But you have to bring it back, Belle. Promise? Sam, I'll come back. Don't worry. <clears throat> we probably need some money, too. Like, in case we need gas or something. This is a horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, but like, what if we get a flat tire? Here. Thanks. And for you, Belle. Thank you. Oh, that is so nice. Giddy up. Bye, Sam. Goodbye, Belle. That's so sad. What do you think will happen next? Come back for the next chapter. Thanks for coming. Bye.